The Yellowstone cutthroat trout is native to the Yellowstone, Snake, and Falls River drainages. Yellowstone Lake and Yellowstone National Park could be considered the heart of the most pure and natural population of Yellowstone cutthroat trout. Due to the presence of the major falls of the Yellowstone River, exotic, introduced populations of rainbow, brown, and eastern brook trout are unable to move as far upstream as Yellowstone Lake and its tributaries. Below the falls, these exotics compete with the Yellowstone cutthroat for food and habitat. But the rainbow can successfully interbreed with the Yellowstone cutthroat and produce viable offspring, thereby diluting the genetic integrity of the Yellowstone cutthroat trout species. Until non-native lake trout were discovered in Yellowstone Lake in 1994, the lake was considered a secure population of native Yellowstone cutthroat trout. Unfortunately, a short time after arrival of lake trout, the Yellowstone cutthroat trout population declined by roughly 90%. To a major extent, this was due to predation by the larger lake trout, but other environmental considerations, such as the presence of an exotic parasite and drought, have contributed to this decline. Considered a keystone species by National Park Service ecologists, the Yellowstone cutthroat has historically been utilized as a food source by 20 species of birds and 22 species of mammals. As the Yellowstone cutthroat population has declined, there appears to be associated changes in the food web of the ecosystem. The exotic lake trout is a deep water species and not available to the typical Yellowstone cutthroat predators. Numbers of some predatory birds that are heavily dependent on the Yellowstone cutthroat have declined. These include osprey, Caspian tern, American white pelican, and double-crested cormorant. Where bears once fed on spawning Yellowstone cutthroats, they seem to have switched to elk calves as an alternative food. Bald eagles are feeding more on waterfowl, where in the past they had fed on Yellowstone cutthroat trout. The complexity of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem makes it difficult to determine the extent of impacts. After all, if no one looks, no one sees, and many species of animals are not monitored in terms of numbers, reproductive success, or even food habits. Since the Yellowstone cutthroat trout is a predatory fish itself, the decline in population may have an extensive impact on other components of the ecosystem. The National Park Service response has been to try to suppress the lake trout population, and though costly, it has had an impact. Through gill netting and other techniques, the lake trout population has declined by 79% since 2012. Over 4 million lake trout have been removed from the lake since control efforts began. At the same time, the Yellowstone cutthroat population has increased, and there is the possibility that scavengers and predators may take advantage of Yellowstone cutthroat recovery. For example, grizzly bears have been observed feeding on the increased numbers of spawning Yellowstone cutthroat trout. The National Park Service Fisheries Division has been emphasizing management for all native species and removing or limiting exotics. This fits with contemporary management concepts of not only managing for species preservation, but also preserving ecological processes. No, Exotic you. species, including lake, rainbow, brown, eastern brook trout, and exotic disease vectors, impact native species and ecological systems. Other, often unpredictable, environmental changes are likely to increase as time passes, and climate change occurs.
Keeping exotic species at bay will be a continual challenge for the National Park Service. Asking the right questions, tracking change, and determining a response become the art of ecosystem management. As humans continue to impact the planet, the loss of biological diversity is a global issue reaching far beyond Yellowstone.